<laughs> what if I told you that this Olympic barbell and this four inch cube weigh nearly the same weight? I'd call you a witch and have you burned at the stake. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. This does kind of seem like black magic of some kind. A little bit of alchemy. Yeah. Equivalent exchange. I concur. <laughs> this $4,000 four inch cube is made out of tungsten, one of the densest metals known to man. It weighs a staggering 42 pounds and it boggles the mind how something so small can be so heavy. This raised a fundamental question. How much pain and damage could something so dense cause to a human? Also, how would it compare to other heavy objects I've been hit with, such as crowbars, barbells, and wrenches? Well, in today's video, I'm having tungsten cubes thrown and dropped on me in order to find out. So to start this video, I want to show you how much this weighs. I think it's a little hard to understand just by looking at it, but it is incredibly heavy. So much so that I can't even really pick it up with one hand. I can hold it with one hand with difficulty, but I can't really pick it up with one hand. So I got a scale here. We're gonna set it on that so you can see the actual weight. There you go, Mark. <laughs> Wait a second, hold it. No, okay, put it on there. 41.6. This thing's more dense than you are. I mean, I would hope so. It's a brick of tungsten. Jeez. Where'd you get that? Amazon for $4,000. You can buy that on Amazon? Yeah. You can buy anything on Amazon. That is true. <laughs> not a cactus. No, apparently not. You're gonna plant that? I think it's dead. No. You know, someone said in the comments that that six foot cactus uh, probably took like 50 years to grow. It's probably a crime in Arizona. Yeah, I feel kind of guilty about the whole thing. Good. <laughs> Up first, we got a watermelon here. We're gonna drop it from about a foot high and see what it does. Oh, she's dripping. And then it's stuck into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so slippery now. <laughs> wow. I guess we could have done a little bit. Less height. Damn. Dead. I think it's put, gonna put a gash into Jouston. It's gonna get stuck in there. That'll be cool. Before we drop it on Jouston though, I wanna see what it does to a chunk of ham. Cause you know, humans are just basically a bunch of meat. You should just get a whole cow. That's inhumane. That's, that we'll eat. Yeah, we'll use the cow. Yeah, well, for our, we're gonna use this ham. That's like. Yeah, we'll use this watermelon too. Orthodox slaughtering methods. Oh, that's dead already. Hey, it won't quiet. The question is, do we keep the plastic on? Do um, you think it'll go through the plastic? Oh, absolutely. Well, let's find out. For this one, drop it maybe six inches higher. Okay, okay. The plastic did offer some protection to that, though. It did, it did. Let's cut that plastic off there and see what it does. Unplastic ham drop test. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that was fatal. A splitter in half. Tenderize that ham nicely. Will I get sick from that? No, no, it's uh, pre-cut. Cool. Last test. From the ladder as high as we can drop it, we're gonna drop it on some ballistics gel and see what happens. You smell like ham, man. You smell like ham. That's offensive. It's not offensive if it's true. Just saying you smell salted and pre-cooked. Ready to go. All right, eat me. That's uh... I'm not a fan of Asian food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Justin Hones here. We're gonna drop this from as high as we possibly can and uh, observe the data. Whoa! <laughs> that scared me, I'll be honest, that scared me. <laughs> it's coming back at me a little bit. Wow, look at that. It landed flat and dented into the box. Jeez. Any damage on the cube? Should we drop it on the box? I'm curious. It'll probably go straight. Uh, it might break it, I don't know. Let's find out. We should just drop this in a bunch <laughs> of things. <laughs> <laughs> box drop test. Oh. That's a sturdy box. I like how every time it hits the ground though, it just sinks into it. Durable metal though. I think it'll bounce off you. Let's find out. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Mark? A cube. You're Tungsten right. Tungsten cube that weighs 2.4 pounds. 2.2 pounds. One and a half inch tungsten cube. I don't think it's wise to start out with the four inch 
42 pound cube. I wanna see what a smaller cube can do to me first. Plus this one is much easier to handle and you can easily keep it in one hand. It does still feel obscenely heavy for the size, but I'm interested to see what kind of damage such a small dense item can do. So what I'm thinking is we'll throw it, drop it, do some various things with this smaller one and then move up to the four inch. Wanna play catch with it? Like, yeah. Right? Uh, like toss. It kind of hurts. Nope. <laughs> you almost killed my dog. <laughs> Safety is our number six priority. Good thing I have such calloused working man hands. A lot of manual labor these hands do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I've been exposed. <laughs> Let's do an underhand toss, about 50% power with the one and a half inch tungsten cube. No! Oh! Yeah, weird, weird feeling, right? That is weird. Wow, my mind is so boggled. It's just so small, but so deadly. Did it hurt? Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't even think you threw it that hard. Uh, yeah, I was scared. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a deadly weapon, carry that around. See, I'm gonna say, you know, like a lot of these things were like, I try to determine if it's even practical to use, like the barbell not practical, mm -hmm. too hard to kind of swing around, right? This one and a half inch cube though. Carry that in your pocket. You can actually throw that and then, you know, someone might think they could just stop it with their fingers, but it'll probably snap their fingers clean off and dome them in the head. Yeah, that'd make a solid dent. Scary. Let's uh, do it a little bit stronger. A little bit. Is it like a sucker punch? I feel like you hit me with a corner of it. Yeah, it did look like that. Oh, it did, you. yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Oh. That one's leaving some bumps. Oh, uh, yeah. Weird. Weird, so, so strange. Weird is the word. Weird. <laughs> so, so perplexing. I have a great idea. I go on top of the roof and I drop it onto your leg. That seems like a terrible idea. I, 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 like great, would, I would not have used great for that. That seems like a completely reckless, ill-advised, genius idea that we should try. Let's do it, yeah. <laughs> but first, drop it from the ladder. Uh, all right. <laughs> Start off at five feet. <sighs> yeah, you know what I, I realized? I spend an exorbitant amount on this video. I think I'd really appreciate it if people like the video. So like YouTube thinks it's a really cool video and promotes it to more people. So I didn't make a terrible financial decision. You need to make a deal though. Okay, we drop it from the roof and I won't react. That's a deal. Thank you. You can let go of my hand now, please. God, don't take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan here is to drop it from the gutter. How high is that, Mark? Eight feet. Eight feet, okay. It's like kind of like double the height. Well, let's see what happens. I hit the back of his hammy. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I don't even think that's fair. Let's do another one. <laughs> Mark. It's uh, a little windy. Take three, no reaction. <laughs> He grazed me, then hit the patio and put a dent in the patio. Oh, I made a noise there. <laughs> he did. I, I forgot, man. There were so many takes. <laughs> Drop it again. <laughs> there we go. How you doing, buddy? Is it? <sighs> Let's go to the four-inch cube. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I learned something. What'd you learn? Dense materials drop at height do damage to the human body. So take 2.1 uh, One pounds. Point five, uh, 2.2 pounds. How yep. fast is that travel going at 10 at, feet? Yeah, if I didn't reach terminal velocity, but I bet you that was going at least like 20 miles an hour. It's a good science question to answer. Someone do the math. Yeah, we're not good at math and science what you, stuff. What are you trying to? figure out. The velocity <clears throat> of the 2.2 pound cube dropped from 10 feet. Moving on to the four inch, 42 pound cube. We're gonna start with a six inch drop and slowly increase the height in which we drop it until I tap out essentially. It's basically how high can we drop this until a human can't stand it anymore. Do you think we can go higher on your leg or your butt? I'm gonna miss his butt and I'm gonna hit his tailbone. Yeah, the tailbone's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm 
it, even if you don't miss it, it could roll into my tailbone because my butt is a, like a mountainous object. It is. That's quite that's, bulbous. Uh, we'll uh, we'll put the shield on your tailbone, and you'll be all right. We'll start with my leg. We'll start with your leg. <laughs> Six inch drop test. <laughs> Early prediction. Uh, we're not getting much higher than a foot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, Schmear. <laughs> It just squirted data out of me. So yeah, it's tolerable, but I feel like every inch we add, uh, it's gonna be like exponential more pain. That is what happens when you increase the height. Yes. You made me sound really stupid. I'm <laughs> just stating the obvious, sorry. That was kind of mean too, my bad. You're doing great. Don't don't even compliment me now. It's like, it's it's already, the damage has been done. You're doing great, sweetie. Yeah, okay, don't, don't call me sweet. <laughs> <laughs> One foot drop with a 42 pound tungsten cube. <laughs> oh. Knocking the wind out of him. Oh my god. Oh. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any Oh. It's twice the power. Oh my. It, 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 oh, yeah. It's like one of those ones where I feel it in my knee. <laughs> yeah. Like you could go another six inches? <sighs> I can always go another six inches. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you flattened my pinky. <laughs> 18 to 20 inch drop, 42 pound cube. Oh my God. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that It's okay. Everything will be better soon. <laughs> Just look at his ear. <laughs> what? Mark! Where did that come from? Why did I not see that? Happy birthday. My birthday was a month and a half ago! Happy belated birthday. <laughs> it was Jake's idea. Oh, wait. <laughs> it was Jake's idea. I'm done. Stop it. That was the cake. Oh, that is sugary. <laughs> you can go buy a cake today. You can have your glasses. No wonder you took my damn glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the damn glasses anymore. Did it take away the pain getting hit by the cake? <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the leg. Right? It worked. Good distraction. I don't know what I think anymore. So, you want to do your butt? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should wrap that. 42 pound cube into that minion blanket right there and swing it at me. That's a great idea. Best idea you've had all day. I got cake in my <laughs> ear so bad. Uh, I can't hear <laughs> God damn. Uh, it's getting, I'm washing this out. <laughs> the cube is now in a blanket. So the idea here is like, that. <laughs> wow, that is, I'll be honest, a lot of the videos we do is like, is this a practical self-defense tool? Tungsten cubes are not practical whatsoever. I don't see almost no use for a four inch cube in a self-defense scenario. You can't carry it around, it's not, it's not easy to use. But this is a pure hypothetical scenario. You got the world's strongest man carrying around a tungsten cube. Probably doesn't feel nearly as heavy to him. So. Are you the world's strongest? Formally. Formally? You're not the strongest anymore? I'm like the, now the world's most knowledgeable scientist. Mm, no, no. The world's strongest scientist. There you go. I can agree with that. Let's hit me. I got you with the corner. I know, I know. Swing, go more around with it. Okay. 
Because <laughs> it's easy, right? <laughs> oh. Hit the shield a little bit. We gotta do it again. Do it again? Yeah. All right. oh, a little bit harder. A little bit harder. That's weird. Ow. Ow. Oh no. Oh. Hold out. Hold out. Oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh. oh. I, 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 eh, eh. Pretty good. <laughs> That's so weird. It's such a, it lingers so long. <sighs> yeah, that was good enough. I think we're good. I think, I think we learned enough. So I'm going to check back in a couple of days and let you know my thoughts on Tugs and Cubes. What do you think about cake? Kind of different. <laughs> it's time for the tungsten cube data review. Three days after the experiment, I had scabs and a minor amount of bruising on my right leg. Due to the density and weight of the cubes, I'm not too surprised by the lack of visible damage as I once again feel like I suffered more deep tissue injuries. There was, however, enough swelling in my leg to make it difficult for me to bend my knee for the past couple days, which I'm gonna be honest, makes leg day a real challenge. So at this point, I think it's safe to conclude that tungsten cubes are in fact capable of causing a lot of pain and damage to a human. When I compare them to other heavy items I've been hit with in the past, I found tungsten cubes to be a lot more painful and damaging, even though I wasn't hit nearly as hard. As it turns out, the more heavy and dense an item, the more damage it is capable of. Honestly, truly groundbreaking stuff here on the Houston Jones channel. Heavy items hurt. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and please share this video with everyone you know so I can pay off this ridiculously expensive cube. Probably a bad financial decision. Ugh.